here on the map. Pick that bad boy. Navigate. So basically we're going to uh, that that Plaza Canadian brew house, um, the brick, all that kind of stuff. So boom, full self-driving. So you can see, here's my hands. Every 15 to 20 seconds, I have to put some pressure in the wheel, but let's uh, put it in full screen mode. So there's no lines in the road here and uh, it's handling pretty decently. There's a pedestrian with a dog, so we'll get our foot close to the brake and hand on the wheel in case it does something crazy, but so far so good. You see, it says apply pressure on the wheel. It wants you to keep your hand on the wheel like this. So far, so good. Of course, it's, I have to change my settings for maximum speeds, but I'll set it to 60. Even though it says the speed limit's 30 here max, but it's actually 50, so. I don't think we passed by a speed limit sign yet, so. But you can see all the visualizations is picking up all the vehicles and people and everything. There's that van right there, pretty cool. But it's gonna turn at the lights and everything. Let's watch this. Turning left here, head down the heart. Let's see what it does. say again I'm actually compared to the full self-driving beta before this update the one that I've had for the last two and a half years this is a night and day difference um, night and day it it will actually turn at stop signs and stop lights and it'll merge onto lanes and everything it's literally let's see if it gets us all the way to Superstore without me having to do anything without me having to intervene. We will see. I remember I made a video, I believe it's on my YouTube channel, coming down here uh, when I first got my Tesla with that version of autopilot, full self-driving autopilot, whatever. And it would always get confused with these left-hand turn lanes and didn't know which lane to stay in. Let's see what we get now. I'll put the speed up to 87 max speed and what's really cool is I don't have to put my foot on the accelerator to go through a green light anymore so that's pretty cool previously every time you wanted to go through a green light you had to um, confirm by pressing on the accelerator pedal as sort of an extra validation but now you don't have to do that anymore this is pretty good and if I want to switch lanes I can just put the blinker on and tell the car to go into that lane and I can also tell the car to stay in the right hand lane to prefer that but I didn't configure the full self driving settings I just turned it on and going with whatever the defaults were so so far so good I mean this is spectacular let's see when we get into some heavier traffic once we cross over the uh, the Hart Bridge there should be interesting. You know, I just think, uh, I just came back from visiting my 81 year old mother who can't drive anymore. And if you could imagine something like this, this is pretty impressive. If it could drive people who, you know, don't have their license or something like that, that's a game changer for society. Um, now, I'm not suggesting it's ready for that yet, but it's pretty impressive so far. So let's just do a test here. Let's say I want to switch to that lane. 
I can uh, just put the blinker on and it's going to do everything for me. That's not new. The previous uh, version of this did it. Here comes someone. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's slowing down because somebody's in our lane. Look at that! What? Did you see that? It slowed right down. I did nothing. I didn't touch anything. It handled that really well. That was impressive. Wow. This is pretty cool stuff. I have to say, I don't know if you guys are, you know, paying attention to this. This is a game changer. Already this version of the software, I'm excited. I'm really excited by this. I'm curious as to how this will perform. Oh, here comes an ambulance. This is, you can't get better than this. What's it gonna do with these emergency lights? Huh? I guess it's a separated highway, so it's not doing anything. But apparently it does have logic to deal with emergency vehicles. So I have seen other people. It's apparently it, uh, it's supposed to pull over or something like that. So too bad they weren't on our side of the highway. And like I said, the settings prefer the right hand lane or the left hand lane instead of the right hand lane. It's configured like that by default. And I usually like to stay keep right except to pass as as most people do, but I have not configured full self driving yet to do that. But uh, this is the smoothest drive down this section of highway I've ever had with with the uh, autopilot slash full self driving. I have full self driving beta. I've also paid for the, the whole package, but the previous iteration of this available in Canada was a far worse than this. Right now, this is pretty cool, I have to say. I'm impressed. All right, let's get in that right-hand lane, just because that's where I want to be. What do you guys think? It looks, it can see pretty far ahead. And this is all just through cameras. It's not using radar or anything else. It's just using the cameras to, uh, to it even picked up that semi truck in the other lane. Really good visualizations. Showing me what the car can see. It sees that van ahead. I am super psyched for full self driving beta in Canada. I now feel with where it's at now, it was worth the price that I paid for full self driving. That's how I feel now. I kind of felt ripped off when I first bought it because it, the, the version of the software previous to this update, it was nothing special. But this, this is a game changer right here. I think Tesla's definitely taking the lead with uh, autonomous driving here. All right, let's go back into that left hand lane. I didn't have to do that. Eventually, when I drove home uh, from the airport, I was driving behind a vehicle that was going too slow for the speed I set and it automatically switched lanes for me. So maybe I'll just kind of leave it now and let it do its own thing until we get to, uh, to that supercharger. But it's doing pretty decent. It's doing a pretty good job. Prince George begins. I mean, it's not a super busy time of day. It's like 5.30 on a Saturday. Um, I will try and have your traffic later, but this is the first day I've tried this out. So, you know, it's slowing down for the red light. Look at all the cars it sees. Look at this. The camera sees everything. Pretty impressive.
car is so good. No lines here, right? Construction. The previous version of full self-drive in available in Canada would just freak out right here. Basically wouldn't work because it needed to have road lines, but this version, somehow it's calculating my lane and uh, slowed down briefly there, not sure why, but whatever. So far, so good. Knows where to stop. Sees that left hand green. Knows it's not for us. Here we go, that's nice. Right off the bat, saw that green, accelerated right away. This is really good. I know I've said that a lot of times, but it's just, wow, it's doing a fantastic job. So far, I haven't had to intervene at all. And we even had a guy in a bike driving towards us on the main highway. I mean, that's crazy. And it knew exactly what to do. Slowed down, swerved around him in a safe manner. Now we're coming up to a green light. This is great. far so good. Oh, it wants to switch lanes. Wonder which way it will take to get to that supercharger. There's a number of routes we can go straight all the way to Highway 16. There's a weird way we can go in by the mall, the back way, or we can go sort of the roundabout way towards Superstore. So I'm not quite sure which way it's going to take. We'll see here. But I guess whatever way we go we're gonna to have to turn right so we will see so far flawless this software is amazing okay so it's gonna go straight I imagine it's gonna to go to highway 16 I think because it uses Google Maps to figure out the route, so it's probably gonna do that way. Let's see. This is a good test, plus it's raining out. I mean, it's a light rain, but no lines here, not, like, not really any visible lines, so again, it's keeping the lane quite nicely. It knows where to be. Really good. And another cool thing is that I can go at a faster speed, faster max speed than the previous version of the software. It allows me to set it a bit higher, which it's more practical, it's more usable. All right, is it gonna turn here? What's it gonna do? Okay, I'm not doing anything. It needs to merge into that lane. I guess it was trying to get in front of the guy and realized it couldn't, and so it slowed down. Okay, I'll go with that, that's fine. So far, I have not intervened. It's done the entire drive. Superchargers are coming up here. Right by the Tim Hortons. Oh, it's in the right-hand turn lane. That's interesting. Okay, I guess it's going this way. Which is fine, you can go this way too. Nothing wrong with taking this way. It's probably actually easier when I think about it. So far, this drive was 100% autonomous. It's putting on the blinker. It's making all the decisions. It's stopping, it's starting. It's avoiding pedestrians. It's stopped at the stop sign. It's obeying all the laws. Okay, let's see what it does here. Crazy guy coming into our lane, trucks on the right. This will be an interesting spot. This is the parking lot. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna stop once it hits the parking lot 
I think it will. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna turn into the parking lot. Whoa, okay, it freaked out there. But with the exception of not turning <laughs> at the right spot, it did a pretty good job. I have to say I'm blown away. It really did a good job here. You saw it, that's the first Canadian full self driving session recorded by me and Prince George. And I have to say, I'll give it at least an eight out of 10. Pretty good. Now, the conditions weren't crazy or anything, but still, I mean, a few crazy things with that guy driving on the bike.